Alrighty, here we go. I want to start the uh, the project, and I want to show you my prep uh, work that I do on components prior to uh, soldering them in, and that involves cleaning them and tinning them. And what I like to use, I like to use this glass block only because it gives me the ability to get my fingers down on here and hold this on something flat and I usually take a little pencil eraser and I just go over this guy right here as I spin it and what this does is it just gets the uh, the big uh, corrosion off of it <laughs> and that's and if you see a little like I say I, I don't you know you probably can't see it in the uh, in the uh, camera but I can see little spots that are that are worse than others okay then we'll turn it over to the other side All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this with some alcohol. Let me get my little alcohol pad here. <clears throat> I'm using this little alcohol bottle. Nice little pump on it, pump action on it. wipe this down real good all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin it and for that I'm going to use my little helping hands gizmo and I'm going to do this backwards I'm going to do it towards the camera so hopefully you can uh, you can see what I'm doing uh, now I do use, I like using a uh, liquid flux, just a little bit, doesn't need a whole lot. Just kind of wet it down. Get my solder here. <coughs> Clean the iron off, the iron is nice and hot. And I put a little bridge right there just to kind of get things going. And then I just flow my way down the component. Just like that. Let's set that cool there for just a second. And then we clean that excess rosin off of there. Just reverse the lead. Do the same thing again here. Now I've had my fingers all on it, so I'll just give it a quick wipe. Put a little uh, flux on here just to kind of get it wet. Iron off. Doing this backwards, so it's a little awkward. Daddy. All right. Okay, so now that we got our first component done, now we need to start working on the board. And to do that, um, they make different types of board 
vices, some that pinch on the side, some different types. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use some just some mechanical screws that I picked up at Home Depot. And this is a little trick here. And I'll show you. And what you do, you put a little nut on here. I'm going to do four of these. Come on, get on there. About the same length, close to it. And then I don't need the extra screws. Set them up there. And I need four nuts. So I'll get rid of these guys here. Uh, now this will be the side of the components that I'm putting the components on. This is R1. Let's see if I can find that. That'll be right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want the components underneath not to lay on the table. So what I do is put me a little screw right there. And one right there. A little more maybe. You probably see where this is going now, right? Alright, so what I've done is I just made myself a little uh, a little stand. So now the circuit board sets off the ground, my components can float free underneath and I can solder on top. Alright, so let's do this resistor here. Now these are teeny tiny little resistors. Probably don't need to do this. Let's see here if I can zoom. Well, what I do is I use round nose pliers and <clears throat> and make sure that uh, my component is a nice 90 degrees with a round nose plier. Nice 90 degrees. And then let's see where is R1 here. Do 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 do. R1 is right here and right here. So I'm gonna do my best guess to determine that that's about where I need it. Now the component has two 90 degree bends on it. And theoretically, should just drop right in there. Just like that. Okay, so that's the way I that's the way I do the components. Alright, so once we get this in here, we just clean it up. So there you have it. Here's the first component. All we do is repeat that process for the rest of the board.
All right, so you can see we just keep the process rolling and I start here in the center and can just continually work my way out to the edges. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.